Welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas Rana. We have started a new initiative that will help the aspirants to revise the current affairs through options. The options selected here are of utmost importance. They will help you to revise current affairs of the past four months. This will boost your memory through mind mapping. Due to time constraint, we have limited option revision in the video. Rest of the options revision will be available in our daily current affairs application quiz section. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for the topic appointments and resignation for April month. So stay tuned till the end. Let's start. First is who has been recently appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of Axis Capital Limited. Atul Mehra is the right option here. Remember, Axel Capital has also appointed Prague Gude as the chief operating officer of the institutional equities and Dhawal Desai as the head of the cash equities. Dhawal Desai as the head of the cash equities. Next, who has been recently appointed as the managing director of Tata International Limited? Rajiv Singhal. Right? So, Rajiv Singhal has been appointed as MD of Tata International Limited. And Rajiv Singhal, he will be succeeding whom? He will be succeeding Anand Singh. Next, who has been recently appointed as the first women Prime Minister of Democratic Republic of Congo? So, Judith Sumvinwa Tuluka. I repeat, Judith Sumvinwa Tuluka has been appointed as the first women Prime Minister of DRC. That is Democratic Republic of Congo. And she will be succeeding whom? She will be succeeding Jean Michael Sama. Next, who has been appointed as the Chief Secretary of Assam? Ravi Kota has been recently appointed as the Chief Secretary of Assam. Right? And Dr. Ravi Kota, he is an IAS officer of 1993 batch of Assam Meghalaya cadre. Next, in April Dash won the Egyptian presidential election for the fourth term. Abdel Fateh Al Sisi, he won the Egyptian presidential election for the fourth term. Right, he is 69 years of age and he won the election in December with 89.6% of the votes. Next, who has been recently appointed as the president of Asocham, that is Associated Chambers of the Commerce and Industry of India. Sanjay Nayar, right, he is the founder and the chairman of Soren Investment Fund and has taken over as the president of Asocham. Previously, he also served as the Vice President of Asocham. He will be replacing whom? He will be replacing Ajay Singh. Next, who has been recently nominated as a member of the Athletic Commission of the Asian Athletic Association for four years, that is from 2024 to 2028. So, Shiny Kurisingal Abraham Wilson has been appointed. She uh, And uh, remember, she is a former Indian track and field athlete. And she was appointed or nominated as a member of AAA, that is Athletic Commission of the Asian Athletic Association. And she will be in this position for four years, that is from 2024 to 2028. And also remember, she became the first Indian woman, first Indian woman flag bearer of the Indian contingent in 1992 in Barcelona Olympics. She was also awarded with Padma Shri in 1998 in the field of sports and also received Arjuna Award in 1985. Next, next is in April, Osman Sonko was appointed as the Prime Minister of which country? So, uh, uh, Osman Sonko was appointed as the Prime Minister of Senegal. Right? Take a note of this. And Osman Sonko will be replacing whom? He will be replacing Siddiqui. Kaba. He will be replacing Siddiqui Kaba. Next, who was recently taken or who has recently taken charge as the Prime Minister, uh, Principal Director General of the Press Information Bureau, that is PIP. So, who recently took charge as the Principal Director General of the Press Information Bureau? Shefali B. Sharan. Right? She took charge as the Principal Director General of PIB 
and she will be succeeding whom she will be succeeding manish desai shefali sharan she is an iis officer that is indian information service officer of 1990 batch cadre next who has been recently appointed as the 8th executive secretary of the secretariat of the convention on biological diversity so astrid shoemaker astrid shoemaker remember he has been recently appointed as the 8th executive secretary of the secretariat of the convention on biological diversity and remember antonio gutters the secretary general of un appointed astrid shoemaker as the of uh, uh, astrid shoemaker and he is from germany and antonio gutters has appointed him as the 8th executive secretary of the secretariat of the convention on biological diversity right and if we talk about astrid shoemaker remember she became the uh she became the cbd's first executive secretary from germany and she's a female remember this also right not a male next who has been recently appointed as a member of the economic advisory panel of the world bank group so recently rakesh mohan has been appointed as the member of the economic advisory panel of the world bank group Rakesh Mohan is the former deputy governor of RBI and has uh, has been recently appointed as the member of the economic advisory panel of the World Bank group and this panel members will have a tenure of 2 years next who has been recently appointed as the presiding officer of the securities appellate tribunal for the next 4 years so justice pratinidesh shrinivas sacharya Dinesh Kumar I repeat Justice Pratinidhi Srinivas Sacharya Dinesh Kumar has been appointed as the PO that is your presiding officer of the Securities Appellate Tribunal and he will be in this position for the next 4 years PS Dinesh Kumar here he will be succeeding whom he will be succeeding Justice Tarun Agarwal right and Tarun Agarwal has been serving here as the presiding officer of SAT since 2018 December month. Next, who has been recently selected as the chairman of the National Cooperative Dairy Federation of India Limited? So Manish Kumar Champaklal Shah, right? I repeat, chairman and managing director of NDDB that is National Dairy Development Board Dr Manish Kumar Champaklal Shah has been unanimously elected as the chairman of the National Cooperative Dairy Federation of India Limited and he will be in this position right and or we can say he replaced whom he replaced Mangal Jeet Rai next who which of the following personalities have been recently appointed as a part time member of the governing body of IBBI that is insolvency and bankruptcy board of india by the ministry of corporate affairs so mp ram mohan and deen bandina bandhu mohapatra both of them has been recently appointed as the part time members of the governing body of ibbi right take a note of this and the appointment came into effect on 19th of feb and they will be holding this they both will be holding this position for the next 5 years next who won the next is who won the presidential election of the slovak republic in april 2024 peter pellegrini right peter pellegrini the former prime minister of slovakia will now become the president of the slovak republic right and peter pellegrini will be succeeding whom he succeeded Zuzana Kaputov Zuzana Kaputov was the first female president of Slovakia right and Peter Pellegrini will be inaugurated as the 6th president of Slovakia next in april dash became the first woman from india to serve as a jury member at the 2024 summer olympics so bilkis meer right bilkis meer a water sport promoter and an athlete she is a canoeist right this is a sport right in water venue row a small boat that is your canoe right and bilkis meer she is from jammu and kashmir and she is set to become the first woman from india to serve as the jury member during the 2024 
Olympic Games that will be held in Paris, France. Next, who has been recently appointed as the full-time member of the 16th Finance Commission of India? Manoj Panda, right? He has recently been appointed as the full-time member of the 16th Finance Commission of India. He is an economist and the former director of Indian is uh, and the former director of the Institute of Economic Growth. He will hold this post office with effect from the date he assumes the office, right? And Pandaji, Manoj Pandaji, he was appointed as the 16th, a full time member of the 16th Finance Commission, right? Apart from this, remember, if we are talking about Raja Dhyaksha has also been appointed as the full time member of the 16th Finance Commission. Next, in April, Sushil Sharma was selected as the chairman and managing director of Dash Company. So, Sushil Sharma was elected as the chairman and managing director of SJVN Limited. Right? He will be succeeding whom? He will be succeeding Mrs. Geeta Kapoor. Right? She was the director of SJVN and now she will be replaced by Sushil Sharma. Next, who has been recently named as the International Event Ambassador for the 16th edition of TCS Tata Consultancy Services World 10K Bengaluru Karnataka. So, Dame Valerie Adams of New Zealand has recently been named as the International Event Ambassador for the 16th edition of TCS World 10K Bengaluru Karnataka. This, will be, this was held on 28th of April. Apart from this, if we talk about Dame Valerie Adams, she is from New Zealand. And she won silver medal in 2016 Summer Olympic Games. And she is related to basically which sport if asked about this question. She is related to your short put. Next, who has been recently appointed as the Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director of Wipro Limited. So Srinivas Palai has been appointed as the CEO and MD of Wipro with effect from 7th of April and here Srinivas Pillai will be succeeding whom? He will be succeeding Thierry Delaporte. Next, who has been recently elected as the Prime Minister of the Republic of Ireland? So Simon Harris has recently been elected as the Prime Minister of Ireland. Right? He will succeed whom? He will be succeeding Leo Varadkar. And Harris, Simon Harris, he is 37 years of age and he became the youngest ever Prime Minister of the Republic of Ireland. Next, which international organization has recently re-elected Jagjit Pavadia as the member for the third term? INCB, that is International Narcotics Control Board. So remember, Jagjit Pavadia, she has been recently re-elected as the member of the International Narcotics Control Board and this is her third time that she will be serving this board. Before this, uh, remember, before this, remember, the each term here is of five years. So she was in this position from 2015 to 2020 first term, then 2020 to 2020 five second term and then from 2025 to 2030, she will be there for this third time. Next. Who has been recently appointed as the chair of the UN, uh, Uni uh, of United States India Tax Forum of the United States India Strategic Partnership Forum? So, who has been recently appointed as the chair of the United States India Tax Forum? Tarun Bajaj. Right? Tarun Bajaj, former Revenue and Economic Affairs Secretary. Right? He has been appointed as the chair of US India Tax Forum of the US India Strategic Partnership Forum. And he is also serving as an independent director on the board of Hindustan Unilever Limited since December 2023. Next, who has been recently elected as the president of the Association of Summer Olympics International Federation for a four year term? So, Inger De Vos. He is of Belgium and he is the president of the International Equitarian Federation, that is FE. I and he was unanimously elected as the president of the association of the summer olympic international federation this was during the 48th general assembly of asoif he will be in this position for the next four years starting from 1st of january 2025 
नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली रिकमेंडेड फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ द चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर इन सिड बी बाई एफ एस आई बी दैट इज फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज इंस्टीट्यूशन ब्यूरो सो मनोज मित्तल राइट एफ एस आई बी दैट इज फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज इंस्टीट्यूशन ब्यूरो हैज रिकमेंडेड मनोज मित्तल फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ सिड बी ही इज करंटली सर्विंग एज द एम डी एंड सी ई ओ ऑफ आई एफ सी आई लिमिटेड He will replace Shiva Subramanian Raman, who has been serving as the chairman and managing director of SIDBI since April 2021. Next, who has been recently appointed as the managing director of National Housing Bank? So Sanjay Shukla, right? Sanjay Shukla has been appointed as the MD of the National Housing Bank, right? Take a note of this. He will succeed whom? He will be succeeding Sarada. कुमार होता नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द नेशनल जुडिशियल अकेडमी सो जस्टिस अनिरुद्धा बॉस राइट जस्टिस अनिरुद्धा बॉस रिटायर्ड फ्रॉम सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड ही हैज बीन सर्विंग एज द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जज सिंस 2019 थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड ही वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द नेशनल जुडिशियल अकेडमी Next, name the personalities from India who has been recently appointed as the member of University Grants Commission for three years. So, Ashish Kumar Chauhan and Shridhar Vembu, right? They both have been recently appointed. Uh, they both have been appointed as the members of the University Grant Commission, that is UGC, for the next three years. Right? Take a note of this. and here remember if we talk about ashish kumar chauhan he is the managing director and chief executive officer of national stock exchange and shridhar vembu he is the ceo of zoho corporation next in april vothi and zwan was appointed as the interim president of which country so vothi and zwan 54 years of age has been appointed as the interim president of vietnam of vietnam and remember she will be serving as the president until vietnamese national assembly elects a new member next who has been recently appointed as prime minister of iceland so who has been appointed as the prime minister of iceland so jarni benedictson has been appointed as the prime minister of iceland next which international organization has recently reappointed Kristen Lina Georgieva as their managing director for the second term and each term here is of 5 years it is IMF international monetary fund headquarter of which is in washington dc right so kristen lina georgina reappointed as the md for a second 5 year term of international monetary fund right and remember she has been serving as the managing director that is the 12th managing director of IMF Prior to this, she also served as the chief executive officer of World Bank from 2017 January to September 2019. Next, who has been recently appointed as the Prime Minister of Kuwait? So, Sheikh Ahmed Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Sabah has been appointed as the Prime Minister of Kuwait. Next, the Minister of Law and Justice constituted a six-member committee to examine various issues relating to the Cure Committee, that is LGBTQ. plus this committee will be headed by whom this committee will be headed by rajiv gobba right and rajiv gobba is the cabinet secretary and this committee will be working towards the or preserving the rights for this lbgtq community next who has been recently appointed as the 26th chief of naval staff of the indian navy so dinesh kumar tripathi right he has been appointed as the 26th chief of naval staff of the indian navy right 26th chief of naval staff next who has been recently appointed as the director general of the national security guard so nalin prabhat he has been appointed as the director general of the national security guard and he is currently serving as the additional director general in crpf in jammu and kashmir next who has been recently appointed as the special director in the intelligence bureau for 2 years so sapna tiwari right acc has approved the appointment of sapna tiwari as the special director in ib for the next 2 years next 
who has been recently appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of dhan lakshmi bank by rbi ajit kumar kk right rbi approved the appointment of ajit kumar kk as md and chief executive officer of dhan lakshmi bank and he will be in this position for the next 3 years and ajit kumar kk will be succeeding whom he will be succeeding jk shivan next irdai insurance regulatory and development authority of india has approved the appointment of kk m mistri as the new chairman of which company so kk kk m mistri he will be the new chairman of hdfc life insurance right will be of hdfc life insurance take a note of this right and this basically appointment is following the resignation of deepak parekh as the chairman and non executive director of hdfc life next who has been recently appointed as the railway advisor of india's high commission in bangladesh by ecc narpat singh right ecc has approved the appointment of narpat singh as railway advisor in the high commission of india in dhaka bangladesh next which bank has recently reappointed amitabh singh choudhary as their managing director and chief executive officer so axis bank limited has reappointed amitabh singh choudhary as its managing director and chief executive officer and this will be his second extension of 3 years that is from 2025 till 2027 next who has been recently appointed as the un resident coordinator from india in the republic of indonesia so geeta sabrawal right geeta sabrawal of india took charge as the un resident coordinator in the republic of indonesia and she will succeed whom she will be succeeding valeri juliand of france next who has been recently appointed as the md and ceo of sirai infrastructure finance limited so hrdyal prasad hrdyal prasad right has been appointed as the md and ceo of sirai infrastructure limited next name the sports personality who has recently been appointed as the ambassador of the 9th edition of icc men's t20 world cup which will be held in west indies and usa from june 1 to 29th of june so remember ocean bolt he is a sprinter yuvraj singh chris gales right they have been appointed as the brand ambassador of that is the 9th brand 9th edition of icc men's t20 world cup that will be held in west indies and usa that is also important next who has been recently reappointed as the deputy governor of rbi for a period of 1 year with effect from 3rd may so t rabi shankar he has been reappointed as the deputy governor of rbi for 1 year apart from this remember who has been appointed as the member of national statistical commission ganesh kumar and who has been appointed as the deputy prime minister of pakistan mohammad ishak dar has been appointed as the deputy prime minister of pakistan so that's all for the day friends now let's move to some revision part klosh swap the founder and chief executive founder and executive chairman of which organization announced that he would be stepping down from the executive role and transitioning to a non executive role by january 2025 so klaus schwab founder and executive chairman of world economic forum has announced that he will be stepping down and now he will be going to a non executive role if we talk about imf international monetary fund washington is the headquarter and recently remember kristalina georgieva was reelected as the managing director for the second term and each term is of 5 years next which music composer won the 2005 oscar award for the movie finding neverland has recently passed away in 2024 so jan ap kazmarek right he won the oscar award and he won the polish he is a polish music composer and he recently passed away he is from which country he is from poland then if we talk about kumar sahani remember if we talk about him he is a renowned indian filmmaker screenwriter and he won three national awards and he recently passed away at the age of 83 in 
कोलकाता वेस्ट बंगाल नेक्स्ट इज विच इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अलोंग विद आई एल जी ए वर्ल्ड दैट इज योर इंटरनेशनल लेसबियन गे बाई सेक्शुअल ट्रांस एंड इंटरसेक्स एसोसिएशन हैज़ रिसेंटली अनाउंस दैट द लॉन्च ऑफ एन इंटरनेशनल प्राइड अवार्ड्स एज अ रिकॉग्नेशन टू द एल जी बी टी क्यू कम्युनिटी सो विच इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विद आई एल जी ए हैज़ अनाउंस दीज प्राइड अवार्ड्स इट इज़ योर यूनाइटेड नेशन डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम यू एन डी पी हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ विच इज़ इन न्यू यॉर्क यू एस ए नेक्स्ट नेम द यंगेस्ट इंडियन माउंटेनियर हु हैज़ रिसेंटली क्लाइम्ब माउंट एवरेस्ट फ्रॉम नेपाल साइड सो काम्या कार्तिकेन राइट ही इज द स्टूडेंट ही इज सिक्सटीन ईयर्स ओल्ड ही इज एन इंडियन माउंटेनियर एंड यंगेस्ट एवर इंडियन माउंटेनियर हु क्लाइंब द माउंट एवरेस्ट फ्रॉम द नेपाल साइड काम्या सॉरी ही राइट शी इज अ वीमेन एंड शी इज सिक्सटीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज एंड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी रिमेंबर शी अर्न द टाइटल ऑफ द यंगेस्ट गर्ल ग्लोबली टू समिट माउंट अकॉनकुआ and also she is the recipient of the pradhan mantri rashtriya bal shakti puraskar moving on next is the ministry of road transport and highways announced new regulations on driving license rules which include applicants having the option to take their driving test at a privately operated driving training centers with effect from which date so according to the ministry of road transport and highways people now will be able to take driving test from the privately operated driving schools or training centers from 1st of june 2024 right under these new regulations applicants now have option to take their driving test at privately operated driving training centers if there will be a fine that if a minor is found driving a fine of 25000 rupees will be imposed and if there is any instructor who is asking for a renewing license fees then a 5000 rupees fine will also be imposed there also fine of 1000 to 2000 rupees will also be imposed for speeding next as per the data from rbi presented in parliament unclaimed deposits in public and private sector banks has reached 42270 crore rupees as of march 2023 and the covid-19 pandemic significantly impacted the unclaimed fund that stood at 39900 crore rupees in 2022 but has increased now to 42272 crore uh, 70 crore rupees any account that is inactive for more than 10 plus years is considered as a or that a money in that bank account is claimed as a unclaimed account right next next if we talk about 61077 crore rupees remember it is the net profit of sbi for fiscal year 24 next irdi that has announced new dash for insurance which mandated insurance companies to get prior approval for their board chairperson appointment so irdi they have introduced new corporate governance regulations for insurers that will mandate the companies to get prior approval from their board chairperson appointment take a note of it now it will be mandatory for the insurance companies to seek prior approval for their board chairperson appointment with immediate effect and the board of meetings will be conducted only when the quorum is maintained that is one third of the total strength of the board or three directors whichever is higher is present then if we talk about age regulations here remember irdi they have removed the age barrier of 65 plus years of age for health insurance next who has been recently conferred with the prestigious 2024 shaw prize in the category of astronomy so shrinivas ramchandra kulkarni he has been recently awarded with the prestigious shaw prize in the category of astronomy right and this award is given for his contribution to time domain astronomy right and this is remember these discoveries that he made are very important for understanding the time variable optical sky then these awards were awarded in three categories astronomy life science and medicine and mathematical science for mathematical science it is peter sarnak of usa who was awarded with this award shaw prize in mathematical science and for life science and medicines there are two sui le thin and stuart orkin they both have won the award in the life science and medicine category next 
हु है विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एयरपोर्ट हैज बिकेम द फर्स्ट एयरपोर्ट इन इंडिया टू अचीव जीरो वेस्ट टू लैंड फिल अकोलेड फ्रॉम सी आई 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 टी सी सी ई एस डी दैट इज सेंटर फॉर एक्सीलेंस फॉर सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एयरपोर्ट इट इज त्रिवंतपुरम इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट राइट दिस एयरपोर्ट वेर इट इज लोकेटेड इन विद स्टेट इट इज इन केरला एंड इट बिकेम द फर्स्ट एयरपोर्ट इन इंडिया टू अचीव जीरो वेस्ट टू लैंड फिल ऑकोलेड दैट मीन्स दे आर रिसाइकलिंग एंड मैनेजिंग नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द वेस्ट दैट इज जनरेटेड इन दिस एयरपोर्ट एंड दे आर वर्किंग ऑन फाइव प्रिंसिपल्स फाइव आर प्रिंसिपल दैट इज रिड्यूस रीयूज रीपर्पज रिसाइकल एंड रिकवर देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट केम कोवड़ा इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट रिमेंबर दिस इज इन बेंगलुरु कर्नाटका एंड इट हैज बिन रिकॉग्नाइज एज द बेस्ट रीजनल एयरपोर्ट इन इंडिया and south asia and moved up to 59th position in 2023 moving on first ever un international day of makhor was observed across the globe on 24th of may makhor the world's largest wild goat species is the national animal of which country it is the national animal of pakistan and international day of makhor is observed on 24th may right and it is the national animal of pakistan since 